so it's gonna be really expensive. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows and I've been doing so for nine and a half years now. In today's vlog, I'm going to be getting ready all my items for the June launch. So uh, this one has actually been the best launch I've had yet. So thank you so much for everyone that supported me for this one. I have like, yeah, all the new thank you cards and stickers. Plus I need to make a heap of the items. So this time I did actually make a lot of the items uh, that I was releasing. But there's also a lot of items that people have ordered that I don't actually have in stock. I still have to make them. Until I move into the new house, I probably won't be able to get everything in stock. And that's okay. But yeah, once I get into the new, new place and have a lot more space, I'll be able to yeah, make more stuff and actually have stuff in stock, which I'm very excited for. And the light is uh, getting dark. I still have to go ship these orders. So they're just a few that came in like on the, I think, 30th or 31st of May. So just before the launch, and then I had a heap of orders on the 1st, and then now we're up to like the 5th of June. So I think I have, besides these ones, I think there's about 25 orders to do, which, yeah, I'm pretty happy about, because for like the last couple of months I've been getting maybe like 5 or 6 orders for the launch day. So it's been really slow, but hopefully we're ramping back up again. I feel like this happened last year as well. I had this really big lull in May. I actually did better this year in May than I did last year. And this this year in May was really bad. But I was just a little bit better than I was last year. And I can't work out why I was so low in la last year. But I think it was just the month. I don't know. I know I went to Greece in June last year. And I'm going to be in Japan in one week. So that's going to take like a bit of a hit. But... In saying that, it's also going to be end of financial year sales, so I'll be able to sort of get it back up um, at the end of the month. And also, obviously, I've had a really good start to the month, so it should even out. But yeah, so this will be one of my last vlogs before going to Japan, so I still need to yeah, get everything ready. Um, I might do another vlog, depending on how many orders I get between now and like, the end of the week. I leave Tuesday next week, so... I want to try and have the website ready uh, so then when I do go, it's going to say, you know, your orders will not be processed until this date and maybe do like a tick box thing. Hopefully by Monday, I can put in that it's only going to be two weeks. I don't know if I'll get any orders over the weekend. And I still have to do all my YouTube videos this week too. I have to get, I will, I'm not going to post one tonight because it is Monday, to, like today, but I just, I already have to edit three three more videos. I have to edit one for this Thursday, next Thursday, and the Thursday after. Because I'll be in Japan both those weeks. I might edit an extra one if I have time just to post in the middle. So I can do the Mondays bi-weekly. I'm thinking bi-weekly might be better than two times a week for me. I'm actually almost caught up. I have made a heap more as well though. So I don't know. We'll just see. Maybe I'll just, yeah, see what happens. Yeah, this will be... I'm making a vlog and then my next one will be the packing. So we'll be packing all the orders. This one's just going to be making. I don't know how much more I'll do tonight though. I just wanted to get utilize this sunlight still that we have because uh, it's going to go down very, very soon. It's already 4.30 and the sun has been setting at like 5.10, which makes it really hard to vlog because I don't really like using the lights inside. I really like the natural light, which is also I'm really excited about with the house because the natural light, oh, it's amazing. It's gonna be really good. All right, I'm gonna go post these before the post office shuts. Morning, everyone. Um, I'm gonna get started on these orders today. I'm hoping to get them all out tomorrow morning. I will see how we go. I've printed out most of the shipping labels and the packing slips, but then again, I did get a heap of orders last night because I posted that, like, I'm having a cutoff time because I'm going to Japan. I actually paid for all the parcel labels on I think it was Friday night because I thought everything was going to be going up on the 3rd of June but it was actually the 3rd of July so I didn't have to do that but oh well they're all done now well at least the ones from before Friday so like from the launch day the shipping is going up usually it only goes up by like 10 20 cents every three to six months but it's going up 90 cents for the parcels uh, for domestic for the ones that I'll be shipping. So because I'm regional, 
I don't get a very big discount when it comes to shipping domestically. Like it's barely anything unless the other person is in the city. So yeah, I do not save much. Then there's also the international ones, which I was saving quite a bit being on band three. But now they are removing a heap of the bands uh, discount for international. I think they're removing it, like they're dropping it by 2 to 5%. I don't know what that will mean for me. I don't know if I, um, how much I'm going to lose. But it looks like it's going to be a lot. Currently it's $20, $19.95 to ship to the United States. They're upping it by a dollar. But then they're also removing the discount I will get. So it's going to be really expensive. I had to change like all my shipping prices. I was barely charging enough. Like I was paying double what I was receiving because I had the free shipping both domestically and internationally for quite cheap. And then I was also doing massive discount. US had like $50 worth of stuff in their cart. It, or it halved the price that they would usually pay to get it shipped. Like it would be like $10 shipping. But yeah, now I've had to change that all and put it up to like $100 or something for the three free shipping threshold. It is a bit annoying having all these postage changes. And I was trying to keep everything real low. I can't keep affording it. My shipping for domestic was $8 for a tracked parcel. And sometimes I'd pay $10. And once this goes through, it'll be almost $11 I'll be paying for a parcel. So I could not do that anymore. So I've changed all my pricings to like a flat rate. And since I've done that, like I've received like 15 orders with the full price thing. <laughs> so I'm like, I was like trying so hard this year to make it cheap and barely anyone was buying. And as soon as I change it, everyone's like, oh yeah, let's buy. Anyway. So yeah, appreciate that. And yeah, if you notice that the pricing has gone up, that's because it's so expensive. And like, that's just for postage. That doesn't include all the other bits and pieces. The boxes are probably what cost me the most. Because um, I don't like shipping in satchels. I do prefer shipping boxes. So, yeah, the actual boxes cost me the most. The other bits and pieces aren't so bad because Vistaprint pays for a lot of the stuff. Uh, Munbin is, like, dirt cheap. It's, like, two cents a sticker, I think. Yeah, little little things. But I guess they add up. I'm going to do, like, a little video on that, actually. Like, how much does it cost me to actually ship in orders like how much how much does an order cost me to ship because i think that would be fun to do and kind of give tips on different ways to ship cheaper i guess because yeah the the munbin stickers are probably like really good value because they're so cheap i've used other stickers before that have cost me uh so much money but that's probably the cheapest way to do it if you're not doing it in color it's sort of who cares about color because it's just going to go in the bin anyway it's just that little piece of extra and it's only two cents like where I got my tissue paper from and everything. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a video like that. Especially because I just got a new Munbin sent to me. Munbin messages me quite a bit to trial the new products. So I'm going to yeah do like a video on that. But also yeah, show all this other stuff. Anyway, just finding out what sort of products I have in stock. Currently I've been going through like this. Seeing what items there is. And seeing if I have them. So yesterday I did make quite a few of the petites. So I'm just going through and making sure I have most of this order. Which I think I do. I might even spin you around so you can see the wall. I might clean up first too. Like currently. This is what it looks like. Just really messy and I'm not loving that. Also this is kind of random but while I've got it in my head I need to say it. Uh, for Shopify, I usually use this thing called Auto Printer. It prints out my um, packing slips. The reason I like this specific one is because it prints it off with the shipping details and any notes. You know, it just prints out everything I need. Whereas the one that it comes with, like the already installed with Shopify, it doesn't do that and it doesn't print out the stuff I need. Like it doesn't say if it's Express, for example, which is super annoying. Every time I've gone to use auto printer, it just malfunctions. It it's just dies. It, it comes up like goes grey, and then it has like that little sad pixelated thing going. I'm like, what the heck? I thought it was my internet, or maybe Shopify just like not working. 
on, I think it was Friday night, because I think it was when I was printing out other things. I can't even remember what I was printing out, but yeah, I was like, that's not okay, and it's still not working. I sort of need it to work, because I really don't like the other one. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to move. Like, oh, there's just going to be so much room for activities. I literally bought the house because of how much room there was. There's just room everywhere. Oh, I can't wait. I won't know myself. I also finished Modern Family and I don't know what to do with my life anymore. I usually watch stuff that's not too heavy, I guess, like uh, comedy or rom-coms, uh, a lot of Disney stuff. Press Disney is where, where it's at. That's what I watch because I like to watch just stuff that's not as heavy on the mind. But yeah, now I don't know what to watch. Also, I did buy some stuff. Hang on, before we get into this, this, I will show you what I bought because why not? I drove all the way on Saturday. My Saturday was hectic. I, what did I do Saturday? Got up, <laughs> but what did I do? I feel like there was something I did before I went and did the other thing. It will come to me eventually. But I went and put the salt sticker on my house on Saturday. But that was midday. I feel like I definitely did something in the morning because like my day was just full on. I just did so much stuff. What did I do? Oh, that's right. Yeah, Saturday morning, I went and collected a dress from my friend and had a massive chat, which was really nice. I like hanging out with her. So, yeah, I did that in the morning. And then I went straight to my house and did, like, the photos and stuff and, like, put the sold sign up. So that was really exciting. And then after that, I went to Missing Link because I won a competition, which gets me one free burger. Well, actually, the burger combo. So it's, like, a value of, like, 30 bucks per week. For a year. So it's like 52 burgers. And I won it. With the help of you guys. You guys liked some comments. Although I did notice like it was really 70-30. It was like 70% of my friends versus like 30% of you guys. But I mean without you guys I wouldn't have won. So thank you. Yeah so I won that. Yeah I won that and I got the house within like 24 hours. So last week was a great week for me. Oh and then I went to sale. Spotlight. Because I noticed that most of the headbands like these. They had all sold out. So I was like, oh, okay, especially the wide ones. So I made wide and thin. These are my mock-ups, by the way. These aren't the real ones, but yeah. So I made wide and a thin band. With my overlocker, I finally opened my overlocker, which, is, <laughs> which has been great. It's currently hiding in the corner because I didn't want to take the threads off because it's really hard to set up. So it's just down there. And when I move, it's going to be very carefully placed in a car and hopefully it won't get unraveled. Yeah, I wasn't able to get all the colours and I did also get more from Trelgan, but they're still sitting there because they have like this sale coming on Wednesday, so I said I'll come and buy it Wednesday. So if they sell it on me, I'll be very, very mad at them because it's meant to be put aside to Wednesday. <laughs> but yeah, I got like the brown colour. I sort of don't want to take everything out. Maybe I'll just show you from top. I have the green, um, the purple. I got this one which is very similar to my cami print, but the cami is in pink, which I don't even know if I have it online. I can't even see it in my wall right now. That one, that one's actually a different color brown, but I just bought the rest just in case it actually does sell. Brown actually hasn't sold, which I thought it would. I thought it would be gray, brown, light blue, probably like the green and then the purple, but the purple sold the blue sold and the grey sold first. So I think this one sold as well in the wide. The only one that hasn't sold in the wide is this one. <laughs> I also got some linen just because I could. It was like checkered. And that one's a cotton, I think, or feels more of a cottony one. That one's for Easter. I just got two meters of that. But it's just like little bunnies, so I thought it'd be cute. And then I got some more mushroom fabric because I haven't seen that in years. Like literal... Well, I bought it for my seven year anniversary and I'm almost at my 10 year anniversary. So three years ago I bought that and yeah, I haven't seen it for so long and I've only got this much left. Like I literally made the last of it for the, uh, for the wall. That's all I have left. So I was like, oh, I better get that because it is one of the regular items online. Oh, I feel like I'm talking underwater. Oh, the thing is, because I bought the house, I no longer need to worry about certain things. So when you are when you have a small business, I'll go into this in depth in a different video when I talk about the house more, but when you have a small business, 
you can claim a lot, <laughs> like you can buy a lot of stuff to sort of the deductions so you don't have to pay as much tax. A lot of businesses will try and spend as much money as they can, especially before end of financial year, so then the tax bill is smaller. But uh, on the other hand, if you do that, it makes it look like to the bank you're not earning as much, so then they won't loan you as much. <laughs> so that was my issue for the last few years. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I need to you know, earn this much to borrow this much. So I needed to increase my borrowing power. So last financial year, I was like, okay, well, I won't spend as much and I'll pay more tax, but that way I can get a good loan. But then all the interest rates happened. <laughs> Uh, and the higher the interest rates, the less you can loan, and all this other stuff. So yeah, I had a lot of trouble getting a decent loan for the house. But I ended up finding one that was perfect, and my broker made it happen. We we got a loan that yeah was big enough for me to get the house. <laughs> it was it was hard, but I'll go into that soon. But now that I have the house, I don't need to worry about that anymore. So I can spend as much money as I like on the business. And yeah, it doesn't really matter. So I'm, I've got like a list of things I need to buy before the end of financial year, which is this month. But I'm going to be super, super broke because obviously I've just bought a house. <laughs> so a lot of my, or pretty much all my savings went into that. Um, because yeah, it was, it was a very, very good buy, but it was, it was a little bit over my budget that I wanted to spend. Sort of for my first house, I was looking to, I had this idea in my head of how much I wanted to spend for a first home. But in saying that, the first home wasn't going to be perfect. It was going to be, you know, you had to do it up. Um, like I needed renovations, you know, and I could just do it over time. This house that I got, it's fully renovated, perfect, ready to move in. Nothing needs to be done. So I said, the way I saw it was, well, I would have spent those re that renovation money um, and it probably would have ended up being that much anyway. Uh, so I was like, oh, well, and this is one I can just move into. And it was also like my dream house. I didn't even want it. I didn't even mean to buy my dream house, but it was my dream house. It was everything I've ever wanted in a house. And it was there for a price that I could afford. So I was like, mine. <laughs> yeah, so there is a whole heap of things I need to buy before the end of financial year because I don't want to pay any more tax than I already have this year because I paid up. I have paid a lot of money in tax this year because I do a fast statement every three months and you got to pay, pay it. So yeah, I'm hoping that if I spend a lot more money, I won't have, I'll actually get my money back this year. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. But to spend money, I got to make money. So this year, this month, um, pretty much everything, everything people buy um, selling from like now to the end of the month, including like the f end of financial year sale that I have, will be going straight back into the business to buy supplies, stuff that like I won't be buying fabric. I do not need fabric. That is evident. We have I have too much fabric. But the things I was thinking, like I need more boxes. I think like I actually have no idea what sort of boxes I have out in the garage right now. But I know I need stuff like my bigger white ones so I need that sort of stuff I need to buy stamps and tracked envelopes they're something that I'll always use so I'm just like thinking stuff that I will I need and will use tissue paper now that's a smaller expense that's like 25 bucks but it is something I still need um, and I'll need it soon because uh, I mean I still have quite a few left but I like to just have a backup one I was thinking I'll buy a drill and pegs it's actually not called a drill apparently it's called something else someone said it was I have no idea, but it looks like a drill, it works like a drill, it's going to be called a drill in my mind. So yeah, I'm going to get one of those so I can claim that for the business because I'm going to use it at markets to drill my pegs in. I've wanted one of those for years and I just thought, well, it could go hand in hand with the house anyway. Having a drill isn't a bad idea. <laughs> I'm sure it will come in handy, but yeah, that's mostly what it'll be for. So if I can get like a little handheld one. The smaller the better really, but I just need something that I can drill pegs in to the ground. And if you, I've never seen them before, I'll try and add a photo. They're sort of like squirrely. I've used them once because my dad bought me some years ago. We used it for one market. And it's the only other time I've used it. My dad was like, oh, I bought these for you. 
we used my drill and he came and helped me set up. This was before I even had my own gazebo. This was when I was using his very old gazebo. The winds that day reached up to 100 k's. <laughs> it was the most windiest that I've been. The jumping castles and the all balls. The all ball flew onto the highway. Like, I was very lucky there wasn't a kid in it. It was just so dangerous. I've never been in a situation that bad before. But my gazebo didn't go anywhere. Like, <laughs> because my dad drilled it in. It didn't go nowhere. The roof, the canopy, completely broke um, because it was going like this so hard, it smashed. Like there was a massive hole in the middle. Like we ended up having to chuck it out. But the actual frame was fine. Um, it did not move. So yeah, that was a very hectic day for sure. But I still did well because it was like, it was a school fate, I think, something like that. I need to buy a PO box in the new town that I'm in. I'm not gonna mention the town and or anything like that though but yeah i do want to go see how much the pi boxes are because it is it's about half an hour from glengarry so and my pi box currently is in glengarry and when i get sponsor stuff sent to me it's just so hard to go there even now that i'm in Tarelgan, it is really difficult for me to go to glengarry because that's still like our 15 minute drive half an hour round trip just to go to the pi box and you get hair claws for christmas season elastic I'd like to get some more of because I'm on to my last box. This box has lasted me, I think, six months, which is good. But so that elastic is a maybe. Like that that I might not need to get into like later in the year. I need to get actual like bow clips. I'm running really low on them. But I also might not get them until later in the year as well. And then electric scissors. I was thinking about getting the knife ones that like chop for you. I don't know. Maybe. That could be maybe next financial year thing though. Yeah, I like put it in like sort of need to sort of wants. Yeah, so like the last couple I probably don't need to get straight away. Let's have a look at the wall. So I ended up putting all of my new stuff in here. So this is sort of like the colors I was going for. I usually put them over in this corner, but that's where I put like the headbands and the DIY packs. So just kind of chilling over there. Uh, as for everything else, I do not have much stuff in stock, I'll admit. Can you see how red my nose is already? I am allergic to something in this house, I swear. Like, my face is so itchy all the time. I'm, maybe I'm allergic to mom's, like, detergent that she has here. Uh, I'm just always itchy. So, yeah. That's been driving me insane the last six months or so. <laughs> Almost six months now. Oh, my goodness. It's really not been fun. So yeah, if you see me scratching, or like touching my face, it's because I am, I am just, oh, I'm, maybe I need to start having antihistamine every morning or something. Cause it's not hay fever or anything. Cause I'm inside and it's not really hay fever season. It's winter. And I don't really, I've never really got hay fever. I didn't think so. Anyway, I'm gonna go put a chlorine and get working.
Okay, so I finished most of these last night. I just needed to sew the elastic and sew like the opening. I didn't film too much of it because it was dark. And I've also got these over here. So these are my scrunchy wristlets and key fobs. I also did get a few orders overnight as well. So I have a few extra things to make on here. And I also have some other things like that and the headbands. Because I put them back up without actually making them. When I purchased the fabric, I took a couple things to do. Alright, so I'm finishing up a little bit later than I was hoping to. I was sort of hoping to have everything done this morning, but it's now like 2.30 or something. So I haven't got very, like, I haven't got much time at all to package up all these orders. But the slips that I do have printed off here, which are, there's quite a few printed off. These are the ones that I want to get out today. Anything else, uh, I think there's maybe another four, I don't even know, ten orders after these. They can go out later in the week, probably Friday, when I finally do my last lot of posting because I just realized that it is a long weekend this weekend. So that means Monday, the post office isn't even open. So even if I wanted to ship something, I probably couldn't unless I dropped it in the post box. If I don't like doing that, I like to get the receipts and, um, or at least, you know, making sure they get in there safely. But yeah, that's probably what we have to be, what I have to do if someone does order and I think, oh yeah, I can get that out. But yeah, so really I have to get everything out before Friday. So they're all the ones I just made just now and all the key fobs. And then they're all the ones I already had in stock, which is actually quite a few items in stock, which is good. I have no idea how many items are there, but yeah. Well, anyway, well, thank you so much for purchasing. If you have purchased in the June launch, uh, there will be a packaging video 
which I'll be filming right now, but it'll be in the next vlog. I don't even know if I showed you the colours I chose for this month, but they're like that. And the sticker, which kind of turned out a bit more grey than I was hoping, but I think it also depends on how you look at it. Yeah, so my little bits and pieces. Alright, I'm going to start packaging. The weather is not great because it's like kind of cloudy and overcast, so the video is not going to turn out very good in this room anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to get started and I'll go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Ooh.